Christmas is over. Good morning, welcome back. Right, today is another of those big days in the job. Um, the roof structure, as far as I'm concerned, is complete. All the tie beams are in, noggins, that's a noggin, noggins are in, uh, restraint straps are on, can't really see it against the light, one there, one up there and two down that side. We've got the hard soffit, sorry about this, I'm looking up, looking up into the light, hard soffit. Uh, over and back down and um, everything's bolted, nailed, screwed uh, as I hope is required. The reason it's a big day today is I have booked an inspection from Building Control and the young lady will turn up at some point during the day come and have a look at this, not say very much and then hopefully say, yeah, okay, you can carry on and put a lid on it. Um, she may wish a few other things to be done, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I see the building inspectors as an asset to me and the job, because we're all on the same side. We want the best for the customer, and they have a duty to make sure that it meets current building regulations. So, uh, the, last time she, the last time she was actually here, um, there was a whacking great hole in the ground all the way along. I think it was just the excavation that we, uh, she actually physically came and saw. She wasn't able to come and see the build-up for the slab, i.e. all the hardcore sand insulation and so on. Uh, she had to um, cancel that one, but we did it by photograph and video and what have you, so she was okay with that. And then she said, next time is when you are ready to close the roof. And today is that day. So while I'm waiting, <coughs> I am not sitting idly tea mug, drinking tea. Um, the next thing to be done before I, <coughs> excuse me, before I uh, close the roof up is to put the barge boards and soffits on. The barge board is th that vertical uh, thing and the soffit is the bit that goes underneath as you can see on the house barge board and soffit and in order to do that um, I need a straight line because if it isn't straight you can guarantee if there is the slightest wobble in the barge boards and soffit it's going to stand out an absolute mile it's going to look like a dog's hind leg and we can't have that so <laughs> <coughs> a ball of very tightly tied pulled twine um, to give me oh let's go where we can see it dumpty 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 dum to give me a position oops, sorry a position 200 millimeters out from the wall so that'll be the soffit flat soffit and then I will what I've done is to mark where are we? Can't see. I'm looking into the light, I can't see it any more than you can. Right, so to mark a vertical from the string line all the way along, and I'm going to cut the ends of the rafters to that line. Um, then, uh, what I need to do is to just make sure that the bottoms of all the rafters are all at the same level and they're not quite at the moment there's one or two that just deviate slightly so we'll pack out trim off and otherwise deal with them and then i can put barge boards and soffits on and that'll be this side and that side um and then i can start putting the uh, not the roof structure but you'll you'll see there's a number of other things to put on um, so that's where we are, and I will show you or tell you what uh, what transpires. They won't. The uh, inspector won't want the visit videoing. Um, 
because they're like that so I'll have to show you afterwards but uh, let's go and have a look uh, let's go and have a look up top see what it's like so here we are up top and uh, bit of a roof structure we have and uh, you can see all the uh, tie beams, high collars, uh, bolted together to stop lateral spread, uh, which, which is not going to happen anyway, it's more for aesthetics than anything, but they're bolted with 16mm uh, threaded rod and uh, nylock nuts. Now nylock nuts, just in case you've never come across them, is a nut with a little nylon or polypropylene insert in the head and just try and find one that shows a bit more it grips um, it grips the uh, grips the threaded rod or bolt um, so that uh, it doesn't um, it's not likely to rattle loose uh, which it, it won't in this has been tightened up significantly and um, it's uh, yeah, it's, it wasn't requested, um, but it just seems a sensible precaution just to uh, just to prevent any uh, possibility of anything coming loose. So there we are. Um, the next thing after the roof structure's passed is to set out for tiling, and that's that's. It's not exactly a science, but it's something that needs to be done very carefully. I did some measurements last night, or yesterday afternoon, and this ridge beam bows slightly outwards by about seven or eight mil in the middle. And that's just because it's timber. That's what it's going to do. I can counteract that. That's not a problem. Um, it won't be noticeable. There's a slight bow in the outside skin of the wall uh, by about 5mm um, that won't be seen I can deal with that and um, in terms of flatness is the roof flat oops let's try and get it to focus there yeah pretty much to within to within a couple of millimetres on this side we have one rafter that sticks up where is it it's the one uh hang on let's just see if we can get a finger well there's one here that one that just sticks up slightly but there is i have spotted another one can't see it so well from this side um, but there's one that sticks up about 5mm and I think it's that one with the printing on, the first one with the printing on. So how am I going to deal with that? Well, I'm just going to get the planer on it and just plane it uh, till it's uh, even. Um, we haven't done bad actually. Um, it's just a bit of bow in uh, some of the timbers and if they're going to bow, you want them to bow upwards so that they compress down under load. Uh, but that one's sticking up a bit too much, so uh, it's just going to get trimmed smooth. Because what I don't want is any ripples, any sort of undulations in the roof. I want it smooth and flat and even. On the inside... Oh, just bear with me a second. Oh, on the inside, the important thing is to get the roof um, absolutely flat. If I just slide upwards... There we go, all the tie beams, apart from a few bits of sawdust sticking down, um, all the tie beams are nice and level. Um, apart from two or three at the end which bow downwards, that's fine because I can plane them level. If there was a hump in, it would be more difficult to take out. Um, so we want a flat smooth ceiling and a flat smooth roof. So. There we are, that's the story. Uh, we'll see what transpires. In the meantime, I'll potter around just getting uh, getting things sorted out, doing the next, uh, next, uh, next aspect of the job while I'm waiting to have the inspector come. Um, what was that a play? An inspector calls. 
Well, hopefully it's, uh, <laughs> hopefully the circumstances are a little better this time. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, uh, catch you later. Sawdust. Oh, shavings. Uh, right, I have been inspected. And the scores on the doors are, I pass. Um, yeah, I thought I'd better video this before it goes dark. Um, building inspector came, had a good look round, was very complimentary about my roof structure, said it was very neat, very nice, and uh, some other builders could take <laughs> notes from it. Um, and, you know, looks very solid. Everything's to spec, or over spec. Uh, and uh, yeah, can uh, crack on, which is what I've been doing all afternoon. So what I've done uh, this afternoon is to trim all the rafter tails, the bits that stick out, to the same length, 200mm uh, from the wall, and, and that's good. And I've been shaving uh whoops try not to fall over uh try and get something to focus on yeah there we go shaving um bits that stick up so that when we put the roofing baton on it's nice and level i just need to lift up this bit just a smidge just to get it Nice and straight. So I've been working on this side of the roof uh, this afternoon, and uh, I'll carry on down uh, down there tomorrow, and then work on that side of the roof, and then uh, work out all the barge boards and soffits that I need, um, get those ordered and fitted, as well as some soffit trays. Uh, I think they're called soffit trays. I'll show them to you anyway. I keep forgetting what they're called. They're pl plastic things that hang over the end into the gutter so that um, the roofing membrane doesn't rot and it's supported. And Eve's trays, that's what it's called. I knew I'd get there in the end. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I can uh, crack on and get this covered up and I will be very glad so to do. And then once that's got a lid on it, uh, it should be about time to get some doors. Well, they'll be due. And um, and there we go. So, uh, yeah, really good day. Really happy, really pleased, really relieved, I can tell you, uh, that um, the work that I've done is acceptable. I shouldn't be surprised. I'm working off a set of good set of plans. Um, so, uh, so there we are. And uh, the next time I need to be inspected, there's drains. Anyway, that's for another day. Today it's starting to get dark, and I'll just enjoy looking at this nice straight line just a bit longer. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll show you some more next time.